Hey everybody, it's Eugene Lee Show here, and today I wanted to show what the pattern or the infrared lighter pattern looks like on the iPhone 12. And so there is a little sensor under here. Most of you probably have seen it. If not, it's just this little circle that's under there. And it basically emits a pattern and it can determine that depth and you can use it for scanning and that sort of thing. Now, an interesting thing happened. I actually recorded the video already and I was coming back up to just do the video editing. But when I would looked at the video in the uh, sort of full screen, I noticed something that I couldn't see when just looking at the camera display. So um, I'm just going to play the original video as it was and I'll have you have a look at it. And when I'm projecting the pattern on the wall, um, you'll see what I mean. Have a look and see if you can notice some of the things. There's some things that I noticed, but some things I couldn't see until after. So I'll play the video after it's done. I'll come back on and then I'll point out some things and hopefully you'll catch some of those. Hey everyone, it's Eugene. Uh, I'm just messing around with the iPhone here. This is the iPhone 12 with the LiDAR and this is a time of flight scanner or at least it uses time of flight lidar now i've done this before with structured light scanners because i'm always interested to see what the pattern looks like that is being emitted from the uh, sensor or whatever now this is a little different because it's a lidar scanner but i uh, did a little bit of research and it looks like that it's still in the range of somewhere like 800 and something nanometers so i have a full spectrum camera here so this is uh, able to see above the visible range and i've got a little filter on it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to project this onto the wall i'll need to uh, shut, shut off the lights a little bit in order for you to see this but um, you'll be able to get a sense of what the pattern looks like which is uh, kind of interesting here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get this going here get into an app uh, i'm just using the, the scanniverse app there's no reason why um, you know it doesn't matter what it is it's still using the same sensor so i'm going to go back this way and i'm going to well i'm recording here so that's okay and i'm going to start scanning and what i'm going to do is i'm going to shut these lights off and I'm going to see if I can actually get the pattern. Yeah, I definitely can. So uh, back in here, you can see my hand a little bit and I can see the pattern. And what I'm going to do is open the door a little bit, get a little bit of light in here, just enough to uh, so you can see the phone here. There we go. So you can see the phone and you can see the pattern. And let me get up close here. So now I'm getting up close. OK, now I can't see it here, but I can see it when I look through the lens or through the viewfinder of that particular camera. So. When looking at this pattern, uh, it appears like, let me move it over this way, it appears like there's a series of nine large squares, like overall squares, and then inside of those squares, it looks like something like a four by four smaller set of squares or grids or patterns or something like that. So um, I'm not exactly sure what that means, but that's kind of what it looks like. Also, something else I noticed, I'm gonna point this towards the camera and you see you get a big flash coming back at you. So that, I'll put this on my hand, see if I can get this on my hand. So there's actually something coming back at you. And I'm not exactly sure what that is, but as I move it around, it, you know, as I move it around more, it makes some larger sort of uh, flashes. So I'm not sure if it's uh, tracking on the other side as well or doing something else, but you can just see it. Yeah, you can see it popping out there. And this is not something that is visible. There's nothing I can see by just looking at it. So really interesting what the device is doing, uh, you know, scanning on the uh, camera side and then, you know, on the side, on the screen side, you can see that it's doing something else as well. And it seems to be more prominent when I move it around. So that's what the pattern looks like and uh, really interesting. I'll be doing some more investigation into this. Thanks. Okay, so that was the video and it wasn't until after I brought it uh, into the screen here at you know much larger that I started seeing things that I really wasn't expecting before so it was kind of a, a little discovery or a surprise and so I'll just go through a couple of things that I noted and there's a lot of you know questions that I have now because of what I've observed here but the first one is the pattern itself if you've noticed the pattern it has sort of a pincushion shape and uh, as you get farther away it kind of uh, changes or appears to change slightly and um, if you noticed um, there's an exterior pattern so uh, there's sort of this main grid or main series of points and then outside of that you get these other 
points, uh, these, this other sort of grid that's up on the sides. And I don't know if that's just an artifact of what they're doing or if that's actually being used and if it's useful or not. But it's kind of an interesting uh, pattern that's, that's uh, there. Um, the other thing you'll notice is that the pattern um, vibrates. It almost looks like it vibrates, but it's a shifting pattern. So you'll see a series of dots, they shift and they come back, they shift and they come back. And I can see how that might be useful. If, for example, instead of projecting all the dots at once, um, you can save on power if you start to uh, shift or interlace the, the, the pattern, kind of like what they used to do with video. You know, you do all the even lines and then all the odd lines, and then you combine them afterwards. So there may be some little um, trickery happening there as well so i'm not really sure um, the other thing is if you look at the main grid there's like a series of nine sort of larger uh squares or whatever you want to call it but inside you'll see that there's there's this shifting pattern that gets really dense and then it disappears and it gets dense again and then it disappears and i thought that was really cool so there's there's something dynamic happening to the pattern aside from just the uh the shifting over the overlap that's happening and uh this may help with getting an increased number of points on some surfaces um it may be a way where for example if you have darker surfaces you can still recover uh, uh, some of the some of the uh, the points that are there and it may just be something having to do with power or brighter versus darker uh, it's really really interesting so I'm not sure what part of this pattern is deliberate or not um, and which part are you know which parts are helpful um, but you'll notice also that there was the part that sort of flashes back at you so you know the pattern is being projected on the camera side of the uh, of the phone so basically everything coming out of here but you'll notice that there's something up here that's flashing back at the user at the person so I'm not sure if that is something that is tracking what's behind you or whatever but it just appears to be like a, a flash and I didn't really notice uh, any particular pattern although I didn't check it um, really really well and maybe I need to do a, a little bit more homework as well so anyway I hope that's helpful um, it's really interesting what they're doing I'm gonna try and find out more here and investigate but thought I would share that with you so hopefully you enjoyed that take care bye bye